A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on the book of First Corinthians, chapter one and verse ten. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no division among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. In the previous verse, Paul confirms that these saints of God had been called into the fellowship of Christ. That requires as people in Christ, they be in fellowship with each other as well. The documentary, The March of the Penguins, follows the emperor penguins of Antarctica on their incredible journey through ice and snow to mating grounds up to 70 miles inland. Narrated by Morgan Freeman, this beautiful film captures the drama of these three-footed high birds in the most inhospitable environments. Once the males have reached the breeding grounds and have been given the responsibility for the eggs, they override their competitive nature and form a team for the sake of survival. As a massive storm sets in, vicious winds pelt the penguins, which are huddled now in a single mass. As the view alternates from close-ups of the ice caked penguins to the panoramic shots of the huddled throng. Freeman narrates, as the fathers settle into their long wait at the breathing grounds, the temperature is now 80 degrees below zero. That's without taking into account the wind, which can blow 100 miles per hour. Though they can be aggressive during the rest of the year, at this time the males are totally docile a united and cooperative team. They brace against the storm by merging their thousand bodies into a single mass. They take turns, each of them, getting to spend time near the center of their huddle where it's warmer. In order to live in unity with each other, Jesus must be the standard for every thought and judgment. As every person conforms to Christ, they will come into an alignment with their brothers and sisters. Differences of opinions will be secondary to the fundamental agreement and the brotherhood through Christ. Precious ones, therefore let us look to the Lord, bear and love one another as Christ has loved us. We need the Lord and we need each other. Let's strengthen our ties as we approach the finishing line together. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we rebuke every spirit that works against the unity in your church and pray for your protection to cover us. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Shalom. Maranatha.